Mud Esmond here for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better, better, while I have Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Anyway, way too early over under numbers. By the way, make sure you're betting legally wherever you are. It's an exciting time to be involved in sports betting, handicapping here in the United States. It's finally being legalized all over the country. But you want to make sure you're following the state's rules, you're following the IRS rules. I don't want to see anybody get in trouble. So, hey, folks, just uh, keep the wheels on the ground if you know what I'm saying. All right. Uh, A team that I have generally made good money on over the years because I think they're consistently underestimated is the Tennessee Titans. You know, they've never really had a sexy quarterback, um, well, for a short period of time. Boy, that guy's life ended tragically. Wow. Anyway, uh, they had a short period of time. They had kind of a sexy quarterback. uh, But they're Tennessee. They're middle of the country, southern. uh, Just not a lot of juice there in that market. And they get overlooked. And, you know, look, um, this year, yeah, I know, Ryan Tannehill, blah, at quarterback. Well, he's not exciting. He's not flashy. All right. But they got one of the top 10 easiest schedules. <laughs> and the AFC South, look, the Jaguars are coming on. They're not a proven commodity yet. Uh, the Colts are starting over. The Texans are three or four years away. They've got a long way to go. And so can they make some noise this year? Well, look, they just brought on DeAndre Hopkins. He's, you know, one of the best receivers in the league. He's going to be the number one receiving option. They had the rookie last year that showed some flash. He'll be the number two. Uh, They strengthened the offensive line through the draft. Arguably got one of the best, if not the best, tackle at 11 uh, in the draft. And uh, they always have a strong defense. All right, they were middle of the pack last year, number 15. But I think that had to do a lot with the offensive struggles. They were on the field too much. And look, QB Will Levis, I know, slipped to the second round, question marks. But I think Titan got a steal in Will Levis. He was my favorite quarterback coming out of the draft. If you look at what he did two years ago, he just... He transfer portal, it was a bad fit, and he had a bad year last year. He he was pushing the ball, trying to make plays downfield. And so, you know, may he get some action this year? I don't know. It's possible. Probably they'll let Tannehill play this out, let Tannehill go at the end of this, this year. But look, Derrick Henry, strong offensive line, good defense, great coach and Mike Vrabel. Players play their guts out for him. So I took a look at their schedule. And by the way, their over-under number. Oh, of course, I had it right in front of me here. Seven and a half. Over-under number seven and a half. Well, that's, that's you know, just a little bit better than 50%. A little bit. Eight wins is a little worse than 50%. All they got to do is go eight and nine, and they're over that number. Like I said, it's a weak division. So, all right, opening game. And you know how I do this. I go outright wins, outright losses, and toss-ups. And I've got it as, well, let's go through the season. Opening day, Titans are at New Orleans. Everybody knows how I feel about New Orleans now that they've got Derek Carr. Hey, look at the Saints stuff right behind me. And, um... I'm, I'm going to give that a toss-up. I want to say Saints win, but I'm going to give it a toss because I can't be sure. Chargers at Titans. Eh, the Chargers suck when they go on the road, and uh, I just don't believe in them. So I'm going to give the Titans the win there. Titans at Browns. For some reason, I had uneasiness about this one. I don't love the Browns, but I'm going to give that a toss-up. Bengals go to the Titans. The Bengals are great. Um Joe Burrow's terrific. He's got probably the best receiving trio in the league. Joe Mixon at running back, an important piece. And they got an underrated defense. I'm going to give the Titans a loss there. Titans at Colts, win. Ravens at Titans, 
Eh, I'm not sure on that one. So that's another toss-up. Falcons are going to suck. I think people are totally overrating them. Falcons and Titans. Titans win, and it's at home. Titans at Steelers. Another one where I can't make an outright call. <clears throat> I think the Steelers are going to be better than people expect. Titans at Buccaneers. They blow the Buccaneers off the field. Everybody's going to. Titans at Jaguars. I'm going to split the season series. They lose at the Jags. Panthers at Titans. Give them a win. Colts at Titans. Give them a win to sweep. Titans at Dolphins. Uh, Got to go to Miami. I'm going to give them the loss there. Texans at Titans. They win number two with the Texans. They sweep them. Seahawks at Titans. Uh, I'm going to give them a loss there. I think the Seahawks are going to be a lot better than people expect. Titans at Texans, give them a win. Jaguars at Titans, give them a win for a split on the season with their Jaguars in their division. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine W's I've got rung up. And one, two, three, four toss ups. And I've got one, two, three, four outright losses. So I'm way to the upside with the Titans. I think they easily get over that bar of seven and a half. Book it! Titans over the number on the season over seven and a half. I'm Loud Esmond trying to make you a better better here at Winners and Winers.